So yo, what's up guys, and as you can see here, we have a case of the latest Celebrations Mini Tins. Pretty much these did release on the 8th in the USA, however in the UK, maybe Europe as well, they released on the 15th. So we had a different release date for these, same with the V-Union boxes, we didn't get them last week, but we should have gotten today, but apparently the V-Unions will be delayed to like next week or upcoming weeks. So yeah, stay tuned for V-Union boxes, we got a lot on the way, so we'll, we'll we will be doing some big openings with the V-Unions if you want to see that. But here we go, we've got the mini tins here. So we'll show you around. Look how awesome. So it's got these starters from all eight generations on the box as well as on the tin arts. These are all the tin arts literally on the box. So this is so cool for a um, mini tin sealed box. Like this looks epic. So yeah, look at that. It just looks so cool. So there you probably see all these starters. And then that's the lid. And then the bottom is just nothing there. It just says Celebrations Mini Tin Display contains eight products uh, and a product code there as well. So what we're going to do is give this a nice rip because I want to put it as a display box for this thumbnail. So get that shrink wrap off. And yeah, a lot of people are keeping this as a sealed collection piece just because how cool it is. So yeah, I will be I've got more on the way. So we will have some as a sealed collection. I may sell some sealed boxes as well. So if you're gonna stay tuned for that, stay tuned. But let me take a thumbnail right now. Look how cool that looks. So boom, let's show you all the uh, tin art. So we got, uh, I think these are in order. So Gen 1, you got Charmander, Bubblesome, Squirtle. Gen 2, Totodile, Chinchua, and Cyndaquil. Hopefully I get these right. This is a test of my knowledge. Here we got Trico, Mudkip, and Torchic here. Then Gen 4. So these are all in order of generations, I guess. Uh, this is the Diamond and Pearl, uh, Piplup, uh, Turtwig, and Chimchar. Lead there from this, this literally is my childhood, Gen 1 to 4. And then going onwards, this wasn't my childhood. So I won't know all of them. I probably know, like them Oshawott or something like that, I can't remember the top of my head, but this is Gen 5, uh, yeah, I know that's Totodile, am I right? <laughs> but yeah, Gen 6, Gen 7, you got Rowlet there, Litlan, and then the, whatever that one is, and then Gen 8, we have Sword and Shield, obviously, you got Grookey, uh, Score Bunny, and uh, Sobble, so yeah, this is, so I played from leaf green to diamond and pearl, had a little break, I was in high school, college, whatnot. Then when I had bought a Switch again, I played Sword and Shield and got back into the video games then. So yeah, I kind of missed out black and white, X, Y, etc. But I did get back into it through the card games, but just not the video games. But yeah, let's get into this guys. We're gonna go from this side to this side. And actually this morning guys, I did open five, I opened, Open seven mini tins off camera. I went to my local store. They were sitting in store. Make sure to just put in the work in when to get these products. Like a lot of people complain they're not getting the products. Make sure you wake up early, go to your local area, try and buy from your local stores. But yeah, as you can see, we managed to pull a Charizard from five tins. And then I managed to pull a Venusaur and a Dark Gyarados from two tins at another store. So this morning was great success pulling my second Charizard now. So a little update on the Charizard count. I pulled a Charizard but off camera, unfortunately. Should have saved it, but I had an odd number of seven. I bought um, two at one shop and then five at another shop. So yeah, I did share it with my Discord at least. I always share pulls that I pull off camera in my Discord, so you can join for that. But yeah, there we go, that is the card. So if you don't know, these cards if you collect all eight cards it will make this artwork here and if I'm correct some glue here there you go that is the artwork there so if you collect all of them it will make this artwork right here and then this is just tells you the contents etc but the packs you get per mini tin is two celebrations and then one darkness ablaze for the price of £9.99 is the retail and you get a silver glittery coin instead of a gold one uh, so yes that's how you get a different color coin so we'll put the artwork I guess we'll put it here for now I don't tend to keep those cards but let me know if you do collect them are they gradable but we're gonna start off with darkness ablaze let's see what we can pull um, if you are in our discord I posted links to buy these uh, at many retailers sealed cases at many retailers 
Uh, so you should join the YouTube membership. You're gonna get access to our private Discord because uh, we have all the links and restocks there. I do post on Myth Collect sometimes, but a lot of people are asking for the sealed cases. And yeah, we had the links in our Discord because it's an awesome, as you saw, awesome sealed collection piece. But nothing in Darkness Ablaze. Let's see if we can get the goods. So I've heard the pull rates ain't the best, but I see something here. We're gonna definitely get something here. Got Palkia, Dialga, oh, Exernius, and a Zacian V. So yeah, Zacian V here. So I'm hearing the pull rates were tough, but this morning I think we took a dub. That wasn't the only pull. I pulled the Venusaur, the Charizard, and a few other cards as well. So it was great, great pulls this morning. Like I said, I've been struggling to pull the Charizard. Like I've only pulled one, and I've done a whole video on that. However, apart from that, I haven't pulled many, and I've opened hundreds and hundreds of packs. But oh, nothing in the uh, classic collection slot. But we got Professor Research there, so yeah, hopefully you're redeeming the code cards. Let me know if you manage to redeem them, because it's awesome to know if you guys do manage to get them and you beat in the bots too, for the codes. But yeah, okay, that's tier number one. We're getting to Gen 6. This is Gen 4. No, this is Gen 5, Gen 6. So I always give it a little rub, but that doesn't seem to work. I think I t ended up tenting the tin. Alright, so yeah, like I said, we had a delayed release here, otherwise we would have done these content a little bit earlier. I could have got these early, but I think there was not really a rush to do it. I will try and get, guys, the figure collection and the ultra premium boxes early to you guys as content. And I will have many, many more on release next week. Uh, so if you want to subscribe here, make sure to subscribe. And I, I recommend joining the Discord now in case there is any ultra premium drops, any figure collection drops. Because obviously, as you know, we didn't miss with Smith's game and Amazon. So if there is any restocks or drops coming, it's best to join the Discord now or it might be too late after if you join after the release next week. So yeah, in case they do restock anywhere else. But we're most of our members managed to cop at the main stores. But oh, still nothing from Darkness Ablaze. So from the seven packs I uh, had earlier this morning, I didn't pull one card from Darkness Ablaze. So I think hopefully I've seen some error packs where you get hit in every single Darkness Ablaze pack. But oh, no classic collection still in a flying Pikachu. Come on, last box, uh, last tin, only two main hits, no classic collection. Uh, but yeah, come on, give us a classic collection here. We got Dialga, Reshiram, Ho Ho, and oh, no hits there. So, how tough are these? Uh, how was the luck with you guys when you're opening Shining Fates mini tins? Because I felt they were pretty tough, but I did actually pull a Charizard from one of the mini tins like later on. But in the beginning, the initial release was pretty tough for me, I reckon. But yeah, one of our mini tin openings did over 10k views. So hopefully this one does 10k views uh, for Shining Fates anyways. But yeah, this is Gen 7. I don't know all the region names. I haven't been collecting the partner packs either. I might go get the Kanto ones and maybe Gala. I think, nah, just Kanto ones. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that if I do collect that. But yeah, I don't know. I just don't think Jumbo collecting is for me. I don't know why, but hopefully we can get some bangers today. Hopefully we get something out of Darkness Ablaze. I'm still after some Darkness Ablaze Charizards, V or V Max, and oh my god, imagine I said V Max Charizard and we end up pulling the Charizard, but nope, a Center Scorch V Max. We'll take it though. We'll take it. But yeah, this is the official release today, 15th of October. is the official release day for these in the UK. This video might be a lot, slightly long, but I could just go for it quickly for celebrations and then do fall from the back for darkness of blaze because we do have a couple boxes but oh i swear i saw gold and then the goldness just disappeared wow zero hits obviously you have the hollow res but when you open a lot of these packs they start to accumulate but gen 8 sword and shield let's see what we're gonna get all right so i'm not have i been showing you the cards there we go in case i haven't i might have forgotten but yeah, same as the literally the same as the tin artwork. It's not like randomly assorted. It's the exact same as the tin artwork. The packs are a bit screwed, so I don't know about if that will affect the condition, like the Pokeball tins do usually do. Uh, but yeah, but I'm sure I go. I'll go straight to the rare from now, just because otherwise this video will be about 20 minutes. But you saw that white code card and zero hit. So that's been an error recently with darkness ablaze with the reprint booster boxes and i guess with these packs and the mini tins as well so yeah just make sure you got your eyes out for that but our first classic collection cards out of four tins is a rockets admin so i guess we'll take it we'll take it guys and then come on 
I do have more mini tins. I've ordered some on Amazon, so I might rip them on camera. Let me know if you want to do more on camera. Cause like I said, I did some off camera this morning. Just because I had seven. It was a bit bit of an odd number for off camera. I mean on camera. But Rocket Zapdos there. And then Sol Jaleo. But yeah, Rocket Zapdos. Nice classic collection from Gym Challenge. Let's go. Lovely, lovely card. Uh, but yeah, I had... Um, I had to do seven off camera. I just mean my missus just open them off camera because it, I, fit, I felt like seven was an odd number. Plus, I have so many videos. I've been opening a lot more off camera. I used to not open anything off camera because I didn't want to have any moments like pulling a Charizard off camera. I didn't expect to pull it because I've opened like Shining Fates. I've opened hundreds and hundreds of packs off camera. Never pulled a Charizard uh, off camera. Uh, same with Dark, um, sorry, not Dark Disciple, same with um, Hidden Fates. Opened hundreds of packs of Hidden Fates off camera. Never pulled the Charizard uh, since having the channel, but yeah, Salamence V here. Lovely card. Want to get that in Rainbow Rare form because that Salamence Rainbow Rare V Max is absolutely beautiful. And Salamence used to be one of my childhood favorites, so I always try and get all the Salamence cards if I can. But yeah, let's go. Ooh, what is that? A red dot error. That's pretty cool. Any else like that? Nope. All right, come on. Double whammy. Now we're getting a hit. So this was Gen 4. Gen 14. So you got Xerneas EX from XY Base, I believe. And then we got Pikachu Base from the base set. Well, the base set artwork of Pikachu in like full art form. So yeah, come on. Let's hopefully a double whammy again. Another classic collection here, please. Yes, what what a dub. Let's go. Birthday Pikachu. So let's go. The, what a good pool that is. This it's getting better now. Beginning was a bit stinky. Last tin, double uh, classic collection. This tin, double classic collection. So birthday Pikachu there. And then come on, Gen 3 here. Come on, let's go. So yeah, this was the Emerald starters, right? So yeah, really do love this. I think I would have picked Mudkip, I think. I did love Mum Mudkip and Swamper and all that. Uh, so let me know what starters you would pick from each generation. Tell me each generation. What are your favorite starters? I should have said that we'll do it from now So I would pick as much as I love Torchic, it's a sticky one between Torchic and Mudkip. I'd pick Mudkip I don't know why I just do love Mudkip. I always lean towards the fire types for some reason But I do love Mudkip, but yeah All right, so I'm doing one celebrations first. Oh, and unfortunately no classic collection But I'm still leaving with a hit got the Zassi and then we'll go to Darkness Ablaze here. Yeah, luckily I got straight to the rail. Definitely would have been a long video if I didn't, but yeah, we can switch it up halfway in some of the videos. Come on, Darkness Ablaze, really tough. I think we only got two hits, but we did get our VMAX Center Scorch though, but come on, let's go. Give me another banger. Oh, no hits there. So we lost our classic collection streak and then Gen 2 here. What do you reckon? I would have went for Totodile. I always leaned, I think when I was a child, my favorite color was blue, so I always leaned towards like the water types. I even think I might have went for Blastoise when we played Leaf Green. I do have my ch childhood Leaf Green game, so I'm gonna wonder when I do a reaction video reacting to my old gameplay, what starters did I pick, etc. But Totodile for sure. Let me know your favorite starters from all the generations, guys, in the comments. I'd be so interested to know. So yeah, obviously I'll comment heart them. So yeah, definitely comment. It won't go unnoticed here. But yeah, let's go. Oh, nothing in darkness ablaze still. But oh, come on. Give us a classic collection. No, but we've got flying Pikachu here. We'll take it. So yeah, guys, hopefully you like this content. Obviously, what, 80 quid this is. So for a whole case retails at 80, uh, 10 times 8. So hopefully you do appreciate it. And wow, another tin with absolutely nothing. I swear this morning I was super lucky to get Venusaur from two from one shop and then the Charizard from five from another shop. Can't get any luckier than that. Like honestly, it's very, very hard to pull that Charizard. And I know it firsthand opening hundreds of packs. But here we go, Kanto Tin now. You got a little appearance from Pikachu here, but Barbasaur, Charmander, Blast, um, Blastoise, Squirtle, sorry. Uh, Charmander for me for sure. I reckon when I was a kid, I might have picked Squirtle, you know. I think, like I said, you saw before, I'm a big water fan, like a big water type as a child. So I think I'm, my favorite could have been Blastoise as a kid. And I just just went with Charizard because Charizard's just cool. The final evolution, Charizard's just cooler in general. And yeah, 
how do you not like a big dragon? Like, I always loved dragons. I always wanted, like, a dragon tattoo on me when I was a kid. So, yeah, I always like dragons. Not a Charizard, but, like, a general dragon. Like, a, I don't know. But, yeah, nothing in Darkness Ablaze. And then, come on, celebrations. Hopefully, we can get something banging here. We'll go do... We'll do the pack trick. So, code card for you guys. This is the pack trick for celebrations. Just switch around the main slot and the classic collection slot. But, ho-ho. Zamazenta and then the Lugia, so nothing there, but we got Zamazenta V. Then final pack. All right, so what you want to do is that, and then you want to switch these two aside, and then hopefully, last pack magic, we can get something. So Lugia, Lunala, and Zekrom. So that Kanto region wasn't lucky to us. However, you saw all up. My mates have been saying that the mini tins have been slightly tough, but this morning my pull rates were out of this world. So yeah, this is our pull rates from uh, eight mini tins. That would have been 16 booster packs of celebrations and then eight booster packs of darkness of blaze. So let me know what you think of these pull rates here. Are you buying a case? Are you buying some odd mini tins? For like walking the shop, picking up one tin, it's a great product to do. Like I went this morning, I thought, let me grab two here. In another shop, I had a couple cases, so I thought, let me just get five here. And I ended up going home with the Charizard this morning. Shame it wasn't on camera. I should have done like a big opening. Maybe, maybe we can do 25 tin mini opening. I did that with Shining Fates. Uh, maybe 50 mini tin opening so we can do a 100 pack opening off mini tins So if you guys want to see more mini tin openings make sure like and subscribe did pull this from a mini tin go If you're my discord, you will see my off uh, Off camera hits and join the YouTube membership to get access to the discord uh, But if you want to see more openings, I will do more mini tin openings uh, in the future So stay tuned for that but guys like subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace